Hey guys, so I'm just going to be showing you some quick hairstyles you can do for a second day hair or curly hair or of course if you just feel like having a lazy day or if it's raining. Or if you just don't feel like doing your hair. So of course you just need some bobby pins and hair elastics and I personally use ribbons sometimes like I show you here. But you can just kind of be creative with it. It can look as cute or as obnoxiously messy as you want it to. It's just whatever you prefer. So here I'm just showing you how to do a low bun, which you can probably figure out. You just twist it at the back of your neck. These ones for me are easier than a high bun, but the high bun I think looks cuter. So it really is whatever you prefer. But there's the finished product of that, and I just kind of tuck some hairs underneath so it doesn't look too crazy. And then here I'm doing the top bun. Like I said, I think these look cuter, but they are a little bit more of an effort to get them to look good, for me anyways. And you can see I'm leaving some hair out. I personally like when my hair is curly and it looks like that, with just the little wispies hanging out. But of course you could tie them back in a top knot if you so desire, and I'm going to show you that right here. You just take a bobby pin and secure it to the back. And using either one of these buns, or even a ponytail, you can use all the looks that I am about to show you. So the first one's going to be a braid. I didn't show you how to do that because most people know how to do a braid, but it's just a regular braid, not a French braid or anything. But with that braid, you can take a small section of hair, braid it, secure it with a bobby pin like I showed you here, then take another one next to it and braid it all the way down. Just like I'm showing you here. Now you'll take that section and pin it behind your head with a bobby pin. Then you're going to take the other braid that you've already secured with a bobby pin and try to tuck that into the bobby pin you already have there. That'll just make it look a little bit more natural and carefree than it would if you secured it with its own bobby pin. And then just make sure to cross those. And there's the final product, product Excuse me, of that. This one is just a little tiny twist. You just take a small section of hair, twist it behind your head, and then use a bobby pin to secure it. This kind of reminds me of those headbands that people wear around their, well, their head, their forehead. Now this twist, you take two strands and just kind of wrap them around each other. I like this look a little bit more than the twist, just because it looks like you put a little bit of effort into it. And as you can see, it's a little bit more noticeable. Now this one, you're going to take the twist and every two or three times you wrap the hair around each other, take a small strand of hair as if you were French braiding. This for me is a little bit easier than French braiding because I literally cannot figure out how to French braid. So I just do this twist and I think it's called a Dutch twist or something like that. Now this one you're going to take a larger section of hair and just twist those two larger sections around each other. This just makes it a whole lot more noticeable than before. Now this hairstyle, you're going to do those larger twists on both sides. I really like the way that this looks because it kind of gives your hair a little bit more volume instead of just being sleeked back. And at the end of this twist here, that'll be it. I hope you like these styles. Try them out for back to school. And thank you so much for watching.